Hello everybody, today we will discuss about uh, uh, tachyhono significance, difference in how to indicate the, the significant letter using box plot. So in order to do that, you have to use the following package, uh, ggplot2 and the package I could call as well as the tplayer package are mandatory to, in order to display a significant letter in the box plot. So let's import uh, my data first. So you have to import your data as usual. So my data format is in the form of CSV. So I have to import the data name is S2. Uh, so by this way, I will import to my R Studio. Yes, then after you have to change uh, your treatment, especially if the treatment is number or integer, you have to convert into factor by tapping this uh, syntax. So S2 is our data name and it's a dollar sign helps us to attach the treatment from our data frame. So as truth factor helps to change uh, the treatment whether it is number or integer into a factor so type this one and run so I strictly recommend you to uh, change the structure of your data frame especially if the treatment are uh, factor so by this way you have to uh, convert from the numeric to the uh, factor and even if you want to if you want to check your data name, so you have to type str function and also you indicate your data name. So if you display here is treatment and replication are integer, so such condition should not be good. So you have to convert treatment into factor by tapping the way. So type this one and run into your studio. So let's add, uh, which is similar to the previous tutorial, the least significance difference. So let's assign the maximum value. You have to indicate S2 is our data name, and also here is the group is treatment is the factor, and also our independent observation. And here is the pH, the plant it is the response variable or dependent uh, variable. So type this one and run to your studio. So the initial part that are going to analyze for this study is uh, Take honor significance difference. So write this one on uh, HSD dot test and also analysis of variance and indicate this pH is the response variable as explained by treatment and also our data name is S2 and also we can categorize the treatment is TRD maybe your uh, is different from me, maybe it is uh, dose, maybe it is fertilizer, maybe it is variety, whatever it is, you have to indicate your uh, treatment or factor to be considered or independent observation. So, and also you have to uh, type a group is equal to true. Type this one and run to your studio. Then also, uh, so you have to also label the significance letter into, in order to draw the box plot. So. Uh, seek dot letters and also you have to use HSD the function the the what we created here and also group and order and you have to type this syntax as it is and let's uh, draw the box plot by typing all this syntax together so this means that this means that uh, here is the ggplot function and our data name is S2 and the axis x is equal to treatment and y is the response variable for the pH or planted and also the geometry box plot should be filled with the treatment and also the data uh, should be the maximum value and also the axis x is equal to treatment and the y is, uh, should be uh, greater than or should be 0 0.1 plus uh, maximum value and also you have to label, especially the significance letter that uh, helps to differentiate easily. So seek dot letters in the group and the V uh, just as, uh, you have to mention here is equal to zero. V just is helps the, vert the vertical adjustment. H just is usually used for the horizontal adjustment. And also if you want to uh, add the error bar so you have to use the stat box plot function 
and the width you can assign to 0 0.1 or to any uh, values, maybe 0 0.2, maybe 0 0.4, whatever you want on the basis of your desire. And also you have to indicate as a you have to give also a title for your box spot. For example, for this, I mentioned I, I referred as Wagitra Research using the GG title function, also the X axis. I think it's X live indicate the X axis and the X axis should be blurry sledge in turn character, while in the case of Y live uh, means the Y axis and the point uh, it is the Y axis that means represented by the plant in the form of uh, the unit centimeter. So type this one and run to your studio. Then let's see our box plot looks like. Yes, it's already processed. So here is our uh, our box plot with a significant or significant letter. And uh, further, if you want just to uh, remove or to change the position of the legend, so let's say here is waka plus use the function tem and legend dot position in order to bring the uh, legend into the top side. Yeah, it's already it's came here in the top side. Let's zoom in. Yeah, and again also you have to convert to bottom in similar in similar fashion. Yeah, also the legends become uh, the bottom part. And if you don't want to indicate the legend, you have to use the function here is name in order to remove the legend. So let's select this one and run to our studio. Yeah, there is no, as you see here, there is no uh, legend. And again, if you want to change the order of your factors or treatment, you have to use waka plus use the function scale dot discrete and limits. You have to change your treatment method. The number of treatment is 7, so 66, as you see here, 0, 6, 9, 12, uh, 15, and 66. But if you convert in this way, yeah, you can easily change the here is 66, here is 3, 0, 6, 9, 12, and 15. So on the basis of your wishes, you can change of all the order of items. And let's uh, fill the colors automatically. So in order to do that, you have to use here is Waka plus scale fill uh, brewer and the palette is blue and and the theme is uh, theme classic. So if you type this one, there will be a continuous color. Yeah. So there is a continuous color. They are similar, but it is continuous color. So by this way also you can use uh, the continuous color. And again, also if you want the discrete color, you have to use the palette is dark too. And also here is that instead of classic, you have to change into minimal. So type this one and run to your other studio. Yes. And again, if you want to just uh, to show a gradient color, you have to use a scale fill brewer and the, here is RDBU and here is a the theme is minimal. So type this one and you will get the gradient color. Yes. Yes. And it is very attractive. And furthermore, you can also use this uh, uh, color palette. For example, use Waka plus scale color brewer and the palette is dark too. So it will give an attractive color. Yeah. And furthermore, for publication, most of it's gray scale is preferred. So you have to use Waka plus scale color and gray. And here's the theme is classic. Yeah. So by this way, you can uh, draw box plot using the Take uh, Horn Significance Difference in our studio. And if you have any questions regarding to my tutorial, you can provide through my email as well as YouTube uh, comment box. And thank you for watching. Have a nice time.